London can be a lonely city sometimes, but that's okay. As Jerome Morrow said in Gattaca, I've learned to read books and go places in my mind. Sometimes I'll travel to lost cities, like Krishna's Dwarka, and sometimes I'll hop into my favourite cafe and sip coffee with a grand master of times gone by. Today we're having coffee with Karl Lagerfeld. Now you might think it's unusual that I'd start my master's series with someone whose date of birth is very much a mystery. But with a bit of rectification work, I believe the following charts match the life quite nicely. Besides, there are many astrological features you'll pick up naturally as you spend time studying this fascinating man. For example, Carl's moon at a rectified time of 6am is located in Kritika Nakshatra, which literally translates to cut or even having a cutting or challenging personality. This produces a person who's unafraid to divide opinion. Depending on house placement, this moon can offer calm, philosophical leadership under pressure. This suits Carl's life brilliantly. You think about it, his mind, moon, was devoted to working out the cut of clothing. He determined the cut of the fabric. He determined what's in, what's out. And the many quotes he'd plucked straight from his mind were often cutting and divisive. Let's take a look at the sun in his D10 chart. Sun exalted in the first house is king making for sure. And during the latter part of his career, he was known by all as the Kaiser, the king. Receiving aspect from Saturn, his rise to the top was steady and incremental. He worked his way from being a junior designer to the very top by consistent daily effort, honing a tireless work ethic for others to envy. Saturn, my goodness, so much to say here. Seated in his two homes, Capricorn and Aquarius, in Carl's natal and D10 career chart, Saturn can be seen in the man without plugging him into an astrological system. His love of black clothes, stiff high neck collars, and how he wore a suit every day are a bit of a clue. As was the fact that he said he didn't particularly enjoy childhood, and he eats simply, as he once said, like the animals in a forest. In 1983, he joined Chanel, when Saturn was sixth from his moon, a real platform building time. During his Saturn Mahadasha, he took Chanel to new heights, with the rest of the industry watching in awe. Mercury debilitated in Pisces, saved by Anicca Bhangaraj Yoga in his D10, is also worth taking note of. Carl often remarked that he saw the designs in his dreams, pulling them from beyond the veil for us to enjoy. There's so much more to say, but I hope this offers a glimpse into how this master used and wielded the starlight of his life. To Carl, I'd just like to say this. My favourite bit of every Chanel show was watching you come out at the end to take a bow. Thank you for inspiring me to want to be good at my job and to care about the work, not the rewards or the applause. And to Chopet, Carl's cat, I too will be glancing up at the clouds across the moon, wondering where we all go when the day is done. I just hope and pray to